All right, so now we have a body all put together. We have a head all put together. If I use my move tool, auto select group, I can move these both off to the side and see what I'm missing, right? I can even move them together because I'll, ch I'll play with these scales differently and these angles separately. Because even though they're made up of multiple layers, a group can be transformed all together. So one of these folders can be transformed all together. So now we have to deal with legs. And I have a few options under my leg reference. I actually thought it would be great to take these red capped mushrooms and use them as the feet. So I have a lot of several good options there. So let's bring some of those in. And you can tell this reference is gonna be huge. I don't need it to be huge. <laughs> So I place it, I do a rough selection around it. I duplicate it, I get rid of the smart layer, I immediately scale it down. I'm not going to warp it or shape it too much yet. I'm going to make it oversized. So that's maybe the front foot there. It's already at a good angle and a good lighting. And bring in this one. It's got that nice sharp texture. It's very eye catching. And it will work well with the environment, the jello and the mist of my fantasy landscape. But whether it will fit well into my landscape or not, I'm just trying to come up with a cool creature design. So it's going to be a little bit smaller because it's going to be this back foot. Or I might decide to swap them, make this the front foot and flip it horizontally. And make this the back foot. And already I can see that I need a bit of a levels adjustment here so that they match. So darken those midtones a bit and even goose those highlights a bit. Okay, now the back feet. Got this one. They've got some grass overlapping them. I'm not going to worry about that yet. That's fine tuning stuff for once I have the whole body together. I'm going to scale that down. Maybe even warp it. Tip its front edge down a little bit. This will be that back foot. And then what have I not used? Let's see. And this one. No, not that one. Let's do this. So these are actually all different references, all different pho photographs from Pixabay, but clearly of the same species of mushroom. So all those feet are going to have some continuity. But notice how this one has a different red than all the others. So I'm going to fix that right away, just using color balance, bringing a little bit more yellow into the lighting and into the highlights that they all match. Then even though this is in the background, I'm going to push it down and scale it 
to be a little bit closer. So that's four different references just for the feet, right? So if I move them uh, underneath the head and the body and I select the head and the body layers and then move them down onto the feet, <laughs> you know, that's what we have so far. And so I need something that connects them, that makes them legs for that pose. So I thought these mushrooms worked really well as kind of leg muscle shapes because you want to have a joint. Where is it putting? And so these mushroom stems, they suggest a knee joint in the middle, right? And they have like the thick ankle, which feet like this would need, and heavy, close to the ground creatures often use. So I'm going to use these in a variety of ways. So from one reference, from one smart layer, I'm going to select out multiples, a rough selection with lots of overlap duplicate it, and then move that down, transform it, scale it, and I'm wondering if I want to flip that. Let's see. Flip it and use it this way. Yep, that works better. And that gives me a little color transition into the foot. Something like that. And then I'll move that with that foot. So this is all organizing your layers. I want the furthest ones back to be the furthest ones back. So that will go on the top, so go backwards. Good, okay, so now what about this front leg? Well, I'm gonna do this one, this one's the most visible. So I'm gonna steal the reference from here. Again, get the same sort of overlap. Duplicate it. Transform it, flip it, rotate it, squinch it, scale it down. And it will connect with this foot, so I need to warp a little bit differently here to get that to match. Uh, it looks like a nice sturdy back leg right now. And I move that. Okay, with those. So now I'm going to show you a little cheat. Because this can be very helpful, especially if you don't have a ton of reference. So I'm going to take these two layers, I'm going to select both of them that are the leg pieces, and then I'm going to hit Command J, but I have two layers selected. It's going to make copies of both of them and move them on top. And while those are both selected, I'm going to hit Command T, and then I'm going to flip them horizontal, then move them over here. And I'm just going to swap them. So they are in different layers. So if I have auto select now layer, I can move one of them to the back and one of them to the front. And I'm going to scale them individually. This is the furthest back. So it's going to go there. And this one's almost right.
I will distort it a little bit. And squeeze it down. Okay, so now these are all my leg parts. A lot of layers just to make those legs. I'm gonna put them in a group. These are the leg assets. And now I've got all the pieces of my creature because I don't think I need a tail on top of all of this. But I might change my mind. We'll see how much time we have. Now I can move all those leg assets as a group together. Right. And now I gotta start welding them to the chassis of my sketch. So what I will do is now go in with auto select layer and put the legs in, then overlap it with the body, and then put the head on, right? And adjust everything individually. So I'm going to start by saying auto select layer. I'm going to move the foot where the back foot should be. And honestly, instead of shrinking everything, because I don't need to shrink everything, come on, move back. Instead of shrinking everything, I'm actually going to enlarge my sketch a little bit. <coughs> Just because I have the resolution to be able to do that. And we know it's at least 11 by 14. So yeah, that's about the right size. Okay. And now you see that my components are about the right size already. So I'm going to take the foot and move it where the foot should go. Take the leg, move it where the leg should go. You see how it's connecting with all the right parts. Take the back leg, put it where it should go. You know, it's probably not even going to be seen at all, but I know where it is. And that allows me to use it for animation later. And this foot, put it where I think it should go, right? And then this leg, and it shows me how much overlaps. I'm going to go ahead and move that leg on top because it's in front, and then the foot, and I might shrink that foot a little bit, so it sits a little bit better, and then this leg, shrink that a little bit, and this is, this is the, uh, the riveting of all the big, heavy, mechanized parts, putting them together and welding them onto the chassis, onto your plan. Okay, so now I've got that. It's still, you know, rough and needs to be cut out. The only thing I know for certain I need to cut out is this front foot. So let me do that quickly with quick selection tool. Got to find it. There it is. And it did an okay job, but I need to, I'm going to augment it with my lasso with a three pixel feather. And what I do is I hit um, option and it will subtract from the selection that the quick selection tool did. And I can add in these slightly out of focus bits. Again, it's not terrible to have uh, variations in what's in focus and what's not. It's actually one of the things that makes something more believable. If everything's super crisp, it looks kind of fake and digital. And if any, everything is just evenly softened, it looks fake and digital. Okay, and then I know, well, I don't know how much of that leg I'll need to cut out. But I'll, I know I'll need to cut out quite a bit of this mushroom here. And we've practiced these tools a lot. So on the next video, we'll be moving every, 